Hi guys, in this video I want to show you what to do when you're kind of done and you want to shut down and you want to close up R and saving becomes quite an issue and so I think this is worth kind of treating on its own. So you come up here to file and you see there's a lot of choices here, save workspace, save history, save file, okay, so which to choose and different people prefer different things. but. For the workflow that I prefer, I like to save the history of what I've done. And that means basically a list of all the commands that I, or functions that I used, uh, get saved. So this allows me the next time I come into R to just copy and paste either the whole history of what I did or um, bits and pieces as I need to get back to where I was. All right, so this is the way I do it. So let's say I've done all this work, and this is, this is a little bit of uh, uh, basic stuff we did in a previous video. And I'm done. I need to go have lunch. All right, so I do file, save history. Okay. All right, and in this dialog box, I am going to name the history. So let's throw it anywhere you like on your computer make sure if you're working in a lab that you are taking this file with you this is all the work that you've done so let's call this uh, test uh, you call it whatever you want test code and maybe just slap a dot txt at the end of this and this will make your life a little bit easier all right so then I'm gonna throw this on uh, in one of my libraries so I'll throw it in our active files okay so you throw it wherever you like so now I can close up R and the way you could do that is just by closing up here or if you want to get more and more comfortable with kind of commands allowing your keyboard strokes to do uh, the work instead of reaching for that mouse over and over you can use Q open close parentheses hit enter and at this point I'm not gonna do this but you're gonna click no you don't want to save the workspace you already saved what you wanted maybe before you do this for the first few times if you're insecure about where all your work went go and open up that file so for us I'm gonna go and find that R active that test code there it is and so here's what it looks like this is what saving history gets you it gets you a in my case it opens it up in notepad but it'll open up in a text editor this is everything I've done so far in this particular session of R that I opened up a few hours ago. Alright, so I started just showing some basic uh, calculations with R and then we worked all the way down to talking about factors. And so all the code, including the errors I make, are kind of saved here. But the results are, notice that 8 plus 8, there's no 16 anywhere. 8 minus 8, you don't see any 0 anywhere. Okay, let me try to see if I can zoom in. This is a little tricky with this very s simple um, text editor, like notepad. So just hopefully kind of, it's not important what I have here. Here I can edit what I've done. So look, this was an error. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to clean up my code. Maybe I'll even annotate. Oh, look over here. Let me give it a title. And I'm going to title it with the uh, pound sign or the sorry the number sign that tells R that don't interpret whatever you write after this as any code. So this is comment. This is for commenting. So I started teaching using R as a calculator. Okay, and then here um, I introduced. Um, square root 
function and so on and so you can put spaces if you like uh, but make sure that if you're commenting you use the number sign before what you type if your comment goes to two lines make sure you use the number sign on, the, on, on every line so comment continue right or whatever okay and go through your code delete what was garbage keep what was nice and clean you'll a lot of times end up trimming a lot and you'll end up with really a nice kind of history of everything you've done and everything you need in order to replicate and start back from where you were all right and if anyone else needs to kind of check what you've done they can simply copy and paste pieces of your code or your entire code and get the same exact results that you got and so you can communicate your results or share your results in this way as well all right and then make sure if you make any changes that you save those changes all right and then when I go back into R in an, on a new day okay let's say I closed R and I'm back now I could just copy this let's say I just want this bit or I want the whole bit right Ooh, whatever it is copy it paste and you see if I scroll up this got interpreted as a comment so that's fine 8 plus 8 16 8 minus 8 0 so I have everything I've done in the previous kind of two hours nicely condensedly saved and annotated with some nice comments so it's organized I can go back I can refer to this I can communicate these I can email these to somebody they can open it up read it copy and paste it and replicate my results so this is a great workflow so we're gonna use this workflow so save this close this and then you can now you can more comfortably quit R right because now you know your code is there and so you don't need to save the workspace all right, so I hope this was helpful. Um, this is kind of the closing process. All right.